most of the French line tamer still making his presence felt in the big top? Well, should we hear that he is, we will, of course, let you know. We're joined now by a guest, Lynn Disward, who is the editor of Psychic News. Uh, welcome. Nice to have you with us on the White Thank House. Thank you. It's nice um, to be here. It's a well-respected paper, the Psychic News. When did it first actually start? In 1932. So it's been going a while. And why was yes. it actually set up originally? Well, the founding editor was a medium himself and he felt the need, and in today's terminology, a target market presented itself. Right. And um, he went straight into it. And um, he found a backer in uh, one Arthur Findlay, who is quite a famous spiritualist scholar yeah. and uh, philanthropist, who endowed, in fact, the building where the Psychic News now um, is housed right. um, at Stansted Hall. And um, this is how it all began. So what sort of stories were, were, were being reported back when it first started? Well, um, having been given this opportunity, uh, Maurice Barbonell, who himself, as I mentioned, was a medium, and a very fine one, um, began to set about publicising the work of other mediums, and not just his own work, of course. Right. Um, so uh, he also addressed issues of the day, and one of the mediums that he mentioned in that first issue, the first ever issue, was Helen Duncan, who is now, as we speak, um, the subject of a campaign launched to clear her name of witchcraft. She was one of the most famous mediums ever, wasn't she? Oh, really? yes, indeed, sort of yes. Heard that name. yes. What was What was she actually about then, back then? What was she doing for the ceremony? Well, um, she was actually uh, giving seances and producing um, physical phenomena, that is uh, a sort of physical manifestation of spirit beings through her own physical energies being used by spirit operators. Right. And um, uh, there was a raid on one of these seances and they said that she was actually uh, fraudulent oh, right. and uh, pretending to speak to the spirits of the dead under the old witchcraft act of 1735. Right, so the, the arguments raised about whether she was genuine or not. We'll come back to that yes. later because we're going to chat to you in the second yes. part of the show as well. So stay with us and we'll, we'll talk to you a bit later on. And thanks for being with us for the moment. Thank you.